The attorneys arguing to halt the parents' bill of rights have the burden of proving that it is inconsistent with existing law and that Initiative 2081 could cause harm if left fully in effect. The judge said they succeeded at some, but not all of those burdens. We're very pleased with the court's ruling. Um, we're very pleased that the court issued this preliminary injunction to stop um, the very harmful parts of this law from going from remaining effective. In my opinion, the judge uh, did a really good job of looking at where the law may have some implications to other issues. The majority of the parents' bill of rights does remain in effect. School districts still need to release student records to parents as requested, with the exception of mental health and medical records. Eroding student confidentiality is very harmful for public school students, and it's particularly harmful for queer and trans students who really need those safe spaces, those confidential spaces in schools to go to. Even the state superintendent told school districts not to make any changes to existing policy until the courts provide clarity. The judge's preliminary injunction strikes the time limit for releasing records as well, reverting back to federal law, which gives schools 25 days to release records instead of 10 days called for in Initiative 2081. And we heard from school districts that said, you know, look, we have really significant budget deficit. And that's just too fast for us to be able to produce records. The ultimate goal here is to continually litigating this matter to figure out um, whether or not the whole initiative will continue. Now that this preliminary injunction has been granted, the official language will be drafted and then the attorneys will end up back here in court to provide more arguments. At the King County Courthouse, Denise Whitaker, Como News.